A filthy yet flamboyant space pirate harasses you in a jaunty pigeon language. <laughs> Yahohar, Yayohar, Urobar Yohar. That's some pirate language. Translation. Drop what you've got and run while we claim it. Wow. All right. The hailing did not work. And I don't know if I got rep with the pirates, like positive rep for trying to talk to them, or if that ship just got pirate rep for taunting me. Either way, amusing. All right. I'm going to go ahead and push F and the pirate booty hauler, that's hilarious, is perturbed. I've never seen an enemy state described in a roguelike as perturbed, but I love it. All right, so it's got two hit points, and we're just going to fire at it. Oh my gosh, I blew it up. yo ho -har, in your face. The sirens, I'm a science vessel. The, in the incompetence just shot you out of the sky. Cool down. Some ship components have cooldowns this is the amount of turns that need to pass before the item can be used again cooldowns are times are in red okay um i lost rep that time so i gained some rep with the pirates by talking to them but then when i didn't comply with their i take all your stuff demands i lost a little bit of rep with them something tells me i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a bit of bad rep with the old pirates all right, so our outdated light vision pulse cannon is on cooldown one. Okay, so let's go pick up this stuff. And we got some stimware, great, some chemicals, some food, small arms, and some heavy equipment. I hope so, Maxwell. I hope so. The Cud-esque reputation screen is going to be fantastic for me. Dangerous terrain. Ahead is a radiation belt. It will damage your shields. Proceed quickly. Uh-oh. Radiation belt. Mm, that looks awful. Okay. Here we go. Ow. Your shields are down. When you stop taking damage for a few turns, they will begin to recharge. Hull damage is permanent and more costly to repair. All right. Um, let me see. Where is my magnetic shield? It's going to take six turns to get back. Yep, there's my shield. It's just zero. Here's my hull. And here's my crew. I actually have 32 crew. I have a big ship. I love having lots of crew. It feels good. It does, doesn't it? Everything about that fiery cloud looks horrifying to go in. Um, I'm just going to push R and wait until my magnetic shield comes back online. Oh, it's a, what is this, space station? It's a banker's station. It's a center of commerce. All right. It's a banker's station. It's a place to repair and resupply, buy and sell, hire crew, and take contracts. Move on top of it and dock with it. I will dock with it. Let's go. Dock. Welcome to the Sector O Banker's Station. Buy some supplies. Then go to the Commodities Exchange to sell the loot you've collected. <laughs> Hilarious, Crispy. I don't know what is special about that mayonnaise but it sounds good i do love mayonnaise i'm more of a, a hellman's than a miracle whip <laughs> egg yolk and msg that sounds like a winner there you go i agree I like just a little bit of mayo, neutralize some of this, the other tastes, very good. All right, so let's see. Um, whoa, that banker looks highly sus. All right, so uh, there's the lobby, there's the exchange, there's an outfitter, a pawn shop, a contract office, pay it forward, which is 
basically giving money to your future run a shipyard and I can leave. All right, so I could buy 250 supplies for $225. I have a ton of credits because I guess this is the tutorial. Um, okay, great, Crispy. I'm with you, Maxwell. There's just not enough eggs in it. Um, it's not a miracle. It's like, it's a slap in the face of all miracles everywhere that they call it miracle. Um, it, it's not the tang I'm looking for with my mayo. Okay, uh, let's see. I could buy some supplies. I could fully restock for, yeah, let's just fully restock. Because I have so much cash. I don't know. Now we can sell all of our data. Look at this. Um, take a look at the other options you have here. If you're carrying spare components, sell them at the pawn shop. Okay. Yes, yes, it is salad dressing. That's That makes more sense. But if I'm making egg salad crispy, I like Hellman's for my egg salad as opposed to Miracle Whip. All right. So I can sell all this data for a ton of cash. Bam. And then let's go to the commodities exchange. Buy and sell goods for trade. You don't need food for your crew. Numbers in the best column show in which sector you have found the best price for each item. Buy and low and sell high. For now, sell it all. So what's going on here is at the commodities exchange, like this is if you want to be a trader and you want to exploit market tendencies, you can come here. Now for me, I'm just going to be selling all the stuff that we picked up, I guess. <laughs> That's hilarious, Maxwell. Indeed, 100% you are a miracle. <laughs> miracle whip is an atrocity. <laughs> you know, atrocity whip just wasn't selling as much mayonnaise as they liked, so they, they did a name change. It was a strategic marketing maneuver. And it was a stroke of genius. Atrocity Whip, the person who named it that was sacked immediately. Okay. Um, so I can sell everything that I found, like my transuranium and my narcotics and all this stuff. Um, but what's interesting is I don't even know like why I would keep some stuff maybe you only keep stuff <sighs> my hesitation would be i don't want to sell something if i need it for like a crafting recipe but if this isn't a kind of like crafting game then maybe it's the only reason you wouldn't sell it is to try to find a better place elsewhere but i think i should just sell everything <laughs> No, it's, it's, you know, it's a really competitive world out there in the mayonnaise marketplace and atrocious spreadables did not. So let's just push slash to just sell all of our stuff. And so we sold everything for 1700 and let's just check out the pawn shop. You will accumulate items that you don't need components, devices, surveys, even artifacts. Sell them in space station pawn shops. Okay, so I don't actually have anything. Um, the Starship Outfitter says new ship parts. Buy new ship components, weapons, defenses, engines, etc. The plus or minus give a quick comparison to your existing components. And information in yellow is your existing item stats. You can also mouse over for more detailed information. <laughs> Good one, Maxwell. Hilarious. Okay. Um, so, this... Um, weapon, okay, this light kinetic blaster, right, is... Looks better than mine, by a lot. Like, you can see it's plus... Minus, minus, like, plus, same, same, I think. Meaning, like, um... This is range four. Uh, oh, this is actually, no, minus minus is not the same, it's worse. So this is a shorter, this is shorter range, longer cooldown, and what is SU? So more supplies, but it does way more damage. 
Now, I actually don't think I have any armor right now. Um, armor covers your hull and is the last barrier between you and the cold black death of space. <laughs> Expensive to repair. The higher your ship's base hull, the greater protection you'll receive from armor. So, I don't have any armor, I don't think. Yeah, I have an empty armor slot. So, if I buy this, it'll just give me a little bit of extra protection. So, it's just a strict upgrade. So, I'm actually going to buy it and just give myself armor. You can see now that there is a little bit of an armor icon on my health. Um, so, I have a 40 hull strength plus 7 armor. Okay? Um, a fission engine is better than mine um what am i got i have a an ion engine which is evade minus five um so this is just less supplies used and has zero evasion instead of minus five so it's a little bit more nimble uh that's pretty cool wow look how expensive this is um increased total number of crew you can hire by 10 and raises your away team size by one. This is awesome, but it's really expensive. Um, I think... Is it worth, you know, 3700 to purchase a better engine that's not that much better? I don't know. I don't like having minus five to my evasion. I like how it's worse tech rating than my ion engine. Um, now, if minus five is actually correct, like you want, no, I think it's it's telling me it's not because it says plus. I'm gonna buy this, and I'm gonna um, sell my component that I don't need. At the pawn shop, I'm just going to sell this uh, ion engine. And then we're going to go to the contracts office. Here you can accept missions for payment. Follow the directions in your quest log and return for a reward. All right, so um, let's see. Asteroid mining. Asteroids are known to be rich in pentaquadros. Uh, pentaquadros. <laughs> While this is not normally valuable, we found a use for it. Mine asteroids and receive the samples. Unfortunately, I don't. I can't mine asteroids. So, no thank you. Um, shipyard. Mm, I don't know. Nothing's going on at the shipyard. Maybe there's no ships to sell or buy. So we're just going to leave. You're doing great. Now you have a pretty good idea of how to play. Continue on until you find the warp point. That will be the gateway to the rest of the game. Okay. Cool. Well, that was a great basic tutorial. And now I feel like um, I can sort of mess around. Okay, mouse look. What's that thing there? Move the mouse cursor over it or press peer to look. Examine. Um, movement keys will control the cursor. Use the option menu or click the mouse wheel to activate mouse tooltips on everything or use the map legend info window. You can also hold shift for temporary tooltips. Okay. Um, so if I push P... Oops. And I just look. And I hold shift and it says spatial anomaly. Cool. All right. I'm going to push escape to cancel that. And let's just check out the anomaly. And it looks like we got a bunch of scientific data and two experience for the captain. Good job, captain. Here we go. What do we got? Uh oh. I saw some bad boys or girls pirate ships okay um, let's hail them and what are you doing here okay interesting um, let's see pirate raider he's done talking um, what does abandon mean and he's bored all right so hopefully he won't become hostile he doesn't look like he actually is. Um, dangerous planets. Ahead is a molten planet. Your crew would die quickly there. You can't land, but you can scan it. Move over it and press V. 
Auto scan is on by default, but can be turned off in the options. All right. Oh, I got shot. They took off my shield. Who is that? You jerk. Pirate booty hauler. Openly hostile. They don't want to talk back. All right, fine. Um, I'm going to shoot him. Force surrender. Captain, that pirate booty hauler. I'm never going to get tired of the fact that it's called a pirate booty hauler um, is badly damaged. If we hail them, they might surrender. Allowing an enemy to surrender instead of killing them can sometimes help our reputation with that race. Showing mercy to an enemy can impress other races who might be watching or infuriate ones who value strength above all else. All right, so we'll hail them, see what they say. Uh, be ye friend or foe, predator or prey, your actions will tell us. Don't scuttle my ship, tis all I have. Will you accept surrender? Um, yeah, I'll accept surrender. So we got some rep. Okay, and we'll just move over and try to scan the planet. It's the molten planet. Oh, so auto scans on, so I don't even need to press V. Hey, Cowboy, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. You know what? I am just started playing Cowboy, but it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's Star Trek the roguelike, kind of, but you don't have to play it that way. You can play it more combat-like, um, you know, more of a trader-style, merchant-style. I'm doing a science exploration vessel. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. Um, all right, so did we scan it? Yeah, we already scanned it. And we got ourselves uh, some some data, hopefully. Or some experience, either way. Now we'll just keep going over here. And look at this. Warp points. Go to that warp point And hit W for warp. Make sure you have enough supplies. I got the supplies. Oh, he's giving us... The developer's giving us free supplies. Let's take them all. And let's warp. All right, warp screen. Okay, um, use the mouse or the left and right arrow keys to choose a destination. Double click to warp. So I could, um, I'm here apparently. Let's go to number one, I don't know. Um, challenge level 50%, challenge level we don't know. Um, let's just go to this one. Unexplored, we are 97% explored, that's pretty good. Let's go here. All right. Freedom. Welcome to the infinite universe in bite-sized pieces. You're free to explore and find your own path. Check your quest log, then start exploring. An arrow points to a known quest destination in this sector. Don't worry if you can't do something right away. You'll always find better equipment in new sectors. Great. All right. Let's see what's happening. Um, active quests. Oh, great. Uh, quests are offered at space stations and can be turned in there when complete. Check your progress here. It's called um, Interstellar Surveyor. We need to collect necessary survey types. Your ship and crew are equipped to visit all kinds of planets, so put it to good use. Fully explore and survey four types of planets. Terran, Frozen, Barren, and Toxic. Don't sell the surveys until you have the whole set. You might need additional equipment to handle mountains and lakes. All right. And if we do this, we'll get 100 experience, 25 fame, and 1,000 bucks. Heck yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. Now, I did sell my survey data, but hopefully that didn't count. Uh, this looks like a planet right in front of me. And it is dead star <laughs> it's a terran planet dead star is not a great name for a planet but i can't wait to check it out let's go explore dead star all right i'm gonna walk fly up here and we scanned it no environmental damage not very many bios here two out of ten threat level 33 percent seems pretty easy like we could take it out uh, our scan efficiency was 82 percent and it says weather patterns reduced the scan efficiency, so we didn't get as much 
data as we could. Um, a lot of nitrogen. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's board it. I'm just going to push, or dock, I guess. I'm going to push D to dock. Send out that away team. All right, here comes the away team. What's going to happen now? <laughs> That's right. Super game. Good evening, my friend. It was a copyright infringement. You know how that goes. All right. Let me uh, switch here. And I'm just going to walk around. Make sure we don't see anything funky. Oh, there's some stuff in here. What's that box? Let me see. I'm going to push P, and we're just going to explore. What is this? Floor. The Fall of Terra. Maybe it's like some lore. Okay. Uh, let's go in here. Um, and I can't. I need an excavator device or a level 2 spelunker. I don't have an excavator or a level 2 spelunker, but I love that that's in the game. Yeah, that's right. You'd think that it'd be public domain by now. All right, let's check this out. Um, Ancient History, The Fall of Terra, Chapter 1 of 7. These few sectors were the last holdout of the Terran Coalition, a once great stellar civilization. What happened? Uh-oh. Quest success. Humanity's fate. You're on the trail now. There must be more blasted settlements in nearby sectors. Explore them. It's up to you to find out where the clues lead. The quest, The Fall of Terra, has been added to your log. Wow. All right, great. Another quest. Um, oops. Okay. And let's see. We got some grub. Is that a table? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, it's a table. And um, I found like a data pad, I guess. It says everyone in the colony is stockpiling food. Maybe we can outlast the bombs? Ooh, that's grim. I don't think they outlasted the bombs. Cool. Well, you know, the more I play this, um, I didn't expect, you know, any kind of lore like that. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, that's a bunch of Nashers. Uh, Nashers don't look good. I'm going to check these things out. Um, no ranged attack. Maybe I can shoot them through the rocks? They, they have 14 hit points. Um, let me see what happens if I... Um, annoyed. I killed one. Uh, I'm shooting. I'm shooting. Oh, okay. They must have found a way through. I tell you what, they looked scary, but... The blasters work just great. Oh no. Okay. Almost got me. Almost dinged me up there. There we go. Boy, we killed a bunch of these. Oh my gosh, there's so many Nashers. Oh boy. Nashers everywhere. Well, if we can get the free attacks, I'll take them. All right. Our blasters work out great. I'm very happy about this. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the ship. And... I'm going to just rest, get my oxygen back. Hey, Rob. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Doing great. Thank you for asking. How are you? Uh, okay, let's get our oxygen back. Just trying out a new game, Rob. I'm, I'm on a note away team mission here in the name of science what is that that I see it's human remains uh oh you don't need it anymore oh we got a shirt found a new officer's uniform click on an officer's portrait to change so it's like a cosmetic item for our portrait that's cool um oop baddie and 
Captain's Log, Entry 384. Finally, something interesting. We've detected a crate floating in space. We'll scoop it up. Boy, that would be so bizarre. The Just the infinite vastness of space. Like, can you imagine you're flying around in your ship and the statistical improbability that you would find a crate floating out in the void of space? Amazing. All right, we got some food. And I'm going to look around a little bit. I'm just going to auto-explore. Oh, boy, did I just um, kill something? I found an... Oh, I must have... It, like, you know, the, the auto-explore will stop you. But I think I just opportunity attacked the Nasher. Um, I'm not sure. What is this? Hail ship, make a note in the log, read the log. Um, that's the captain's log. Uh... Throw a grenade, tactical zoom. Oh, cool. Look at this. Welcome to tactical zoom mode. Enjoy the universe up close and personal. Click the magnifying glass button, press backspace, or roll your mouse wheel to change the zoom level. The map legend info screen will now function as a mini map. Wow, this is nice. So it's like if you want to just have... I actually really like zoomed in looks like this. I know that I'm not going to get to see as much. But it's fun to switch between these views if I want to, you know, yeah, up close and personal. I like it. Okay. Um, and let's see. What are all these buttons? Goodness gracious. Away team. Um, repair. Anyway. Fascinating. Okay, let's just keep exploring. Oh. Bad guy. Got him. Bad. Got him. Got him. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice having such a powerful away team, at least at this point in the game. Uh, I'm going to head back to the ship. Can I just click here to have my people go there? Or, um, yeah, you can right-click it, and they'll go over there just to get their oxygen back. Sweet, I'm just going to right-click over here. Oh, I love this. I love the movement. Okay, great. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just explore. All right, we're getting a lot of resources. Baddies everywhere. Okay. And, okay. More resources. Nothing in the locker. What's this? Surge frequency diode. Um, picked up a crafting part. Surge frequency diode. I don't know what that means. Poor soul. And uh, we got a bunch of money from this body. So you, when you step on the human remains, you like loot the body. And the treasure kind of like jumps out to the side. That's interesting. So we can't go through this because we need hull shears. Um, or we can try to repair it. But I don't really need to do that at the moment. I'm just going to keep exploring. Firing my blasters at these gnashers from far away. Oh, got some DNA there. And let's just take that. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to zoom back out. I really like to try to explore as much as possible. Uh, we are getting low on oxygen. Let me just run back. I'll check this area out over here. I saw that there was treasure, but I want to just make sure I don't suffocate. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, it's a hydroponic unit. It's not any kind of treasure. Let me uh, change off the mini-map and just see if there's any, any kind of treasure that I'm missing. No, nah, it doesn't look like it. Let's just keep exploring. Area fully mapped. We did it. So we got 100%. We picked up all the treasure. That's great.